In the heart of Delta State, South South Nigeria, the spiraling oil fields were a source of wealth and despair. The oil, often referred to as the black gold, held the promise of prosperity. But it also ignited a dangerous battle for its control. This has resulted in the emergence of criminal elements who vandalize government properties and steal crude oil and in the process destroy the beautiful environment of the Niger Delta. One of Nigeria's surveillance organizations, Pipeline Infrastructure Services, say its mission to combat oil theft and pipeline infrastructure in the Niger Delta will continue to intensify till the Niger Delta is rid of all criminal elements. According to the company, its job is to make the Niger Delta safe for everyone. In combating oil theft and stopping infrastructure destruction in Delta State, Pipeline infrastructure services have put in place security measures around all facilities and build trust and cooperation with local communities by involving them in the protection of all infrastructure. We employ them, they are working the line. Even as we speak, some of them are on the line. It is day and night operation so that the vacuum will not be created that will allow any criminalities to take place. It also works in synergy with law enforcement agencies to investigate and pursue all teams. Realizing that prevention is better than cure, pipeline infrastructure services also educate members of the public on the importance of protecting the environment and the economic consequences of all theft and infrastructure destruction. Uh, we are carrying out uh, maintenance and uh, surveillance along the line from Upama Aziz to Tumara Aziz. It's, uh, it's a 36 kilometer line, well ensured, well facilitated. All facilities are being taken care of by pipeline infrastructure and limited. We also have uh, manifolds along different communities, to be about different communities along the line, from uh, Upama down to Chevron. Saturn, then also Bobby, then we also have Batere, then also we have Otuma Fuel Station, or you call the back of Otuma Fuel Station. Uh, we carry out area view, we fly to the line with our drones to make sure all security apparatus are being kept in place. As you can see, we have been able to uh, 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 evacuate entirely about 100 and something valves on this line. As you can see, there's no stain of oil. The water is fresh, the fish are joyfully, they are happy. We have the, the ecosystem is really taken care of properly by pipeline infrastructure and you are limited. Uh, there's no form of gas. The communities are happy, they are all carried along right from Upama down to Tumara, you hmm, can see. And uh, we call off the federal government of Nigeria. We call on our honorable president, Bola Tinibu, to continue to assist and support this great venture from Pipeline Infrastructure Nigeria Limited. The elders, the women body, the youth body, they are all involved. As a coordinator, I believe with the system of the, co the, system of the company, the whole thing is working perfectly. So we are appealing to whosoever that is coming, they should stay away from, from this company because they've done their best to make sure to, put, to, to increase the level of production right from that time to this time. They are good organizations, they are CSRs, perfect. The good people, they are carried along. The goods are carried along. There is no stiffness among the youths. People are happy with them. And so we don't change the building team. Organization of pipelines, yes. which means they are also increasing production. So, we are speaking on behalf of the community because pipeline infrastructure is good to us and uh, we are supporting any time. Uh, we do not want to welcome any change because, uh, like people who always say, don't change the winning team. Pipeline infrastructure took over. Where you get to the business of Pipeline surveillance in our area. There have been massive improvements. For example, government will not deny that they have not witnessed increase in oil production. Uh, reduction to almost zero in the pipeline and product. It also engages the youth by providing opportunities for them and the local communities to engage in legal income generating activities as an alternative to all theft and other criminal activities. 
Pipeline infrastructure services are also helping to regenerate the environment and make it habitable for everyone. In this regard, it addresses environmental damage caused by oil theft and spill. The cleanup effort is swift and comprehensive, promoting transparency and accountability. We will be protecting this line, at least for the safety of the community because of the aqua. Uh, uh, aqua, this thing they have here because of the aqua product, and at the same time, we are protecting it for our country, for the bitterness of our country, because we know what the economy of the country is all about today. By the grace of God, we are doing our bit. And since we get to this place, we have, by the grace of God, been able to remove by recession more than 100. And we are still doing it to move back. By now, everything has come down. And even by from the blue station, if you go there, the lifting of oil can be able to attest to what we've been doing so far. We are the one in charge of the line here. Yeah. So normally, every day we normally come to this place. From here, we mobilize. We mobilize from this place with our speedboats. To the line, after we check both lines, we come back to the speedboat, and to the houseboat. Then we decide before. But things are very clear. Production in Ume 30, before popular infrastructure came, was below 50 barrels per day. But today, NAPC knows that production in Ume 30 has risen up drastically. And the government is benefiting tremendously from it. So we strongly appeal to government to allow public infrastructure continue the good work it started on the TFP. Definitely be taken care of. Any attempt by anybody to say they want to stop the surveillance of this pipeline, certainly we've been talking about reduction in the federation allocation of the state. I would want to delve into that. By engaging, sensitizing the people in the region, community leaders from across the states have earned the trust of the organization. In return, they now support pipeline infrastructure services team with useful information, thereby making surveillance tasks easier. In return, the community benefits. Crude oil production has increased. Nigeria's oil output rose to an all-time high of 1.35 million barrels per day in September 2023, as the country pumped its highest volume of crude oil so far since this year. Latest figures obtained from the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission shows that the country's output in September was about 14% higher than what it pumped in the preceding month of August 2023. So my job is to secure the pipeline. And I've been working there for numbers of years now. In Obomoro, there has never been an incident of barrelization. No theft. Like the job is going on well. Like uh, I would like, to, I would applaud the contractors if you ask me. They are doing their job very well, uh, and uh, I want the federal government to still keep them within the contract if possible. My duty there is to secure, to make sure there is no vandalization. We work Monday to Monday to Sunday as our job there. So, but I also want to use this video to appeal to the federal government for support or any form of increment for the people that are doing the job here. Our job is to secure the pipeline from vandalism. And since we have been engaged for several years now, there's no casualty of pipeline vandalism like before. Because before now, there were pipeline vandalization in the, in the, the area. And by so doing it, it affect our crops. And uh, it damaged so many crops. And I also believe that the federal government is losing revenue. But now since they engage us, the revenue has increased drastically, which the federal government can attest to. At the same time, the contractor, which is a pipeline and infrastructures, they have been taking care of the community because they work with the community direct. We are not ghost workers. Anytime you come to the line, we work day and night. We run shifts. We do three shifts every day. We run shift from morning to afternoon, afternoon to evening, evening in, in the morning, next morning again. So we have been doing good job, and the pipeline infrastructure also carry the community along. The youth, the women, and every person, we are getting form of one empowerment or the other. They even go as far as that or giving a scholarship. With 
the efforts of pipeline infrastructure services and other companies. Nigeria is on its way to meet 1.8 million barrels per day quota, approved for Nigeria by the Organization of the Petroleum Exporting Countries. Pipeline infrastructure at Ebukodo, Ushakiri, Ubeji, Ebukodo, Ubo, Aziz. We are the world. We are the workers that take care of the pipeline for some years now. Before when you come to the river, you can all see the water clear like this. Everywhere is messed up with oil. Since we, since we were on board, our company tried the best to stop whatever activity that is going on in the fact, uh, pipeline area for some years. And now, for now, we, we want to get federal government because we are aware of the federal rumors that we don't expect because we are the one that owning this papaya for some years, so, so many years. We are the one that stopped every activity from all those areas from letting the big river. So we are aware of the mother, government, government wants to stop this work and we are more than, we workers, we are more than, we are only than 50 workers in this facility for me, uh, this houses in Ubeji, Ebukodu, Ebukodu, Shekiri. So for the past, I mean, so please, we have a press to the federal government, because we have to stop any, uh, stop uh, the activity of the work, that definitely all of us will be on ground again. The coordinator of Pipeline Infrastructure Services, Benzin Omuwaje, says since this program commenced, job employment has increased while the crime rate has reduced significantly in the region. Pipeline Infrastructure we started last year and then before now we started as OMS. Look at Transfocados, we have about 820 people that were employed from Merimo Kopare and Uvili to even Urapele Manifu, then from Urapele Manifu to Focados Manifu. We engage people. When you pass through the waterway, Wari River, Camp 3, then when you move down, Camp 3, then Otegele, we have a place called Otegele 1 and 2 where we have porter cabin. Even in Nekokodo, there we have military uh, cabin that the soldiers are. Then in the Camp 3, that is where you have 15 Navy each on board. Wari River, we have uh, in Camp 3, when you have that 15 Navy in Brian Hill as boat. In Wari River, we have Divine Victory as boat. That when we have 15 Navy also, they supervise our community workers. And all the community resume there every day. So for our job to be effective, because we ensure that we create impact to the community we are working with. Because it's not job, it's not all about to give you a job, for which to ensure that what they engage us for, we engage communities. We have done we've done our job very well to ensure that every activities of every bunker's activities in the area, we clear the line. Because when you look at Transfocados and which have 28 inches pipeline, every most of the people put valve insertion, they put they put they have valve insertion, they put 12 inches valve insertion. We remove them with many pipes that we clear with deposit in both at the last time I did the coverage there. So a lot happened. But it now become a competitor now. I hear a lot of different different decisions. And the people who wanted to, who are lobbying, scheming different ways, they are sending people to the line to pause the line to put valve. They will come and locate to say that yes, they are the one to find somebody on the line, which is wrong because our line is secured. Let me tell you something. Before you position, before you put forward insertion on the line, immediately you put it now, before you turn around, we have our team to monitor. You can't take crude oil to anyway. Even the heritage and MPDC will testify that the job pipeline infrastructure are doing is the best job. Nobody has that knowledge better than us the way we are doing it. Because we, we, we go in a very diplomatic way and ensure that as far we are, we are we have a good relationship with the communities, the communities, we carry them along, they carry us along, every information, they call us over and I say, this is what we do because we engage the hunters in the community, we engage the fishermen, the land, we engage the farmers to ensure that every activity that is going on in that area, we get it right. Fighting of bunker activities, we fight with bunkers on the line nearly every day on the line to ensure that whatever fight we are fighting, it is for we to secure our area and then we secure them. If you look at the record, the first time in history when Transfocados said they have overflow tank in, in Focados, they never have it for years. First time when we started in April, after two months, they said they have overflow tank that we should pipe low with our work. We said no, we had that value for money. Even till now, most times they have overflow because it is a good job that we are doing. If you check Transfocados pipeline now to 
for Carlos Manifo, the line is clear. Even Transmini River, that's your main 40, the line is clear. Although the company continues to receive commendation, it is now resting on her hours. The surveillance team says more will be achieved by sustaining the program. The company wants criminals to stop all forms of illegal activities, even as it calls on the Nigerian government and security agencies to ensure safety in the region. This battle for black gold, a battle that the people will need to navigate together to secure their future.